This is the uh, PID analyzes model 312 uh, gas chromatograph. This instrument can either be powered by the line, line operated from 90 to uh, 240, or it can also be powered by a uh, uh, battery. It'll run six to eight hours on a battery, and there's a charger for the uh, for the battery. This particular instrument is a is a dual column instrument for doing uh, mining gases and basically this is a far UV detector this is a thermal conductivity detector this is the uh, gas uh, is syringe uh, inje injector there's also a 10 port valve that's used to uh, inject the sample and what we have here is we have uh, uh, when we turn the pressure on let's see is this yeah oh, that's right here. we turn the pressure on we, what we use is we have a pressure controller here, and um, this is the uh, actual pressure controller, and it's going at about 50 psi. Then we have a controller for the TCD uh, column, and a controller for the Phi UV column. And uh, this is a Windows-based uh, uh, system, so we turn it on, and uh, the oper the uh, software that it operates on is Peakworks. And Peakworks is our own uh, software, and it operates the uh, GC, does all of any valve and amplifier uh, changes, and it also takes care of the temperature, and it does the uh, integration of the various peaks. Now, the, the, uh, the screen is actually a touch screen, so we're just going to bring up a peak that we already ran. And this is the peak that we, this is the peak that we ran. And uh, graph A is the uh, is the uh, phi UV. Graph B is the uh, TCD. Now what we can do here is we can just reintegrate the peaks. So we integrate the peaks. And on A we're looking at at hydrogen, oxygen. This is nitrogen, and this is actually uh, methane in this particular mix. And uh, on the PID, basic on the phi UV, what we see is this is the uh, basically the uh, peaks that we're getting here. We're looking at uh, methane. Uh, this is uh, ethane and uh, ethylene on uh, on this particular run. So we can basically we can actually basically analyze hydrogen, helium, oxygen, nitrogen, um, methane. CO2, ethane, ethylene, and uh, acetylene with this, with basically one injection, and uh, we get the uh, analysis from the two different uh, the two different columns. Now what we're doing is we're actually doing a valve switching here so that the uh, uh, we don't interfere with the uh, you know with the analysis. So we can basically uh, send some of the um, sample to uh, just uh, Flush it to uh, air, and then it doesn't get onto the uh, onto the column. And this is one where we have uh, two parallel columns in the uh, in the GC. And what this does, uh, if you look if you look here, what this does is it creates a new it creates a new sample. Uh, you know, each each day it creates a new sample. has a has a embedded PC uh, in here, so it creates a and the, uh, the actual date, in this particular case, this one was uh, February 4th, 2013. So on that particular day, it would create a file. And these are all the runs that were actually made during the, uh, uh, during the day. And so for the next day, it creates another file. And so you can run you know, one column. You can run two columns. You can run one column with detectors in series. You can run detectors in parallel. And you have a lot of different... Uh, ways that you can uh, operate the GC and as I say this particular one was for uh, for doing uh, mine, mine gases and it was for the uh, the uh, mining mining company that uh, the government mining company that runs uh, probably about a hundred different hundred or two hundred different uh, mines the uh, top of this comes off 
and you can so you can get at the calm and get at the uh, detectors. There's actually a inside here. There's a um, there's a cylinder that contains about 30 liters of carrier gas at um, about 2,500 psi when it's full, and there's a pressure indicator on the uh, on the instrument that basically uh, tells what the pressure is. There's a low pressure indicator. But you can also run this off carrier gas like we're doing uh, right now. And uh, as I say, this, this will start. This button up here will actually start an analysis. This will start an analysis. This will reintegrate it. If we want to do a calibration, we run a calibrate, go to the run. And here, this is the uh, this is the calibration acquire. If you want to change the uh, method, we can go into method edit, and these are some of the parameters that we can uh, we can work with on the uh, method edit. edit. We can also go in and we can look at the uh, detectors. These are the uh, parameters that, that you use for integration. This is the range, so the range can change. This is what we use for the components. So you put the components in here. Here's the uh, retention time. And these are the windows. You can set the windows. Usually five, could be five seconds on either side of the windows. You can also put response factors in here for detector A and detector B. This can be run. And then for standards, you can put the standards. Standards can be put in here. And you can actually run up to four standards for each one of the components. You go into run, and in run you can put the, uh, you can type in the, uh, whatever you want to uh, put in there about the, about the run. You can also go in here and you can change the run modes, maybe manual or uh, continuous. You can save all the data or you can not save some of the data depending on what you want to do. You can display it a number of different ways. You can also overlap the, uh, the peaks if you want to do that. You can blow up the peaks. So if you want to look at some of the small peaks, you can see those. And you can back into view. And all you have to do to get back is click on that. So there's a lot of um, capability in this uh, in this particular unit, and uh, I hope that gives you enough information to provide you with some information so you can see something about the capabilities of the uh, GCP cloud. Thank you.